one of the things that uh, I guess sort of I hold near and dear to me is the idea of just trying to find out, you know, what part of the world I belong to. And, uh, you know, I've been lucky to, to travel a lot and uh, do a lot of things to do with music overseas. But uh, now that I live back here in Australia again, I think something that really inspires me is just kind of being home and being part of my community. You know, I do video game music and anime music uh, for Japan and America and, you know, all these places around the world. But um, it really started at ECU. Uh, and Whopper. Even while he was still a student, Kevin was uh, someone who um, was able to make opportunities for him himself. So um, quite famously, I think he was in third year, he flew himself to America to meet his idol, uh, Nobuo Umatsu, who wrote the music for Final Fantasy, um, and ended up uh, collaborating with him a, a number of times um, like later on once he graduated. What I really appreciate about my time at Whopper, and I'm, the reason I'm really, really glad that I picked that place to go, I think just the style of teaching there where, you know, they, they would encourage you to write the music that you want to write, but at the same time really challenge you to think outside, you know, kind of your own box. And to have that sort of, you know, encouragement and that push, it was difficult to fully comprehend at the time, but my God, by the end of it, you really, really, really just sort of appreciate the fact that Wapo was just one of those places that's gonna just push you to just think about different things. Kevin's capable of doing a lot of different things and that's really important as a composer. He's not, uh, a, you know, someone who's just sitting in a room with his pencil writing scores. Um, he's a really good arranger. He's a really good sound mixer. He's great at directing um, musicians to play his music. Um, he's good at recording. Well, I'm still so passionate about the work that I'm already doing, but I know that that's not the end of the line for me. I know that I'm extremely passionate about passing on knowledge. One thing I think I would say to myself in retrospect is that there's probably more time than you feel to just kind of refine who you want to be and trying to find who you are or who you want to be as a musician, as a composer, as an artist. So I think just, you know, taking a little bit of time, I think is the best advice that I could give. 